Um, I miss, sorry, I have to think I miss a lot. I didn't think I would, but I do. Like, I miss the mountains. The sea and the beaches and the white landscape and the purity and the cold wind and the waves and, um, yeah. I think I miss, like, waking up in my bed and, like, going downstairs to get food and not having to, like, walk, you know, like, 10 minutes to the dining hall and, like, in the freezing cold or like just like waking up and hearing my dad like making breakfast or something like that, like just like little things like that. I probably miss my mom most just because we spent like the last three years pretty much alone together. It's just weird not having that anymore. Sometimes I walk down the street and I think I've, I see my friends from home and I'm like, no, and it kind of sucks for a second. Um, I miss, mo I probably miss my family and my friends the most, and I mean, I keep in contact with them, but like, it's not the same as seeing them every day, especially because like, my friends back home, they would, they're the type of people who would just like, come into my house and like, make it their home, so I kind of just miss that like, familiarity, I think. I miss the like, I miss driving down the street and like, trees looming over me and the green of like just the whole of Massachusetts. I like the like how New York is very like blue and like the air and the vibe of city life but I do miss green. And I still miss it but now I like there's just like layers to me missing things at this point so yeah I, I do miss the mountains. Why'd I leave? Um, I don't know. I felt like I needed something more and I wouldn't find it in Massachusetts. Like I felt like I, which is a bit, it's a bit like narcissistic, but I don't know. I felt like if I really wanted to grow as a person and achieve like what I think my potential could be, I feel like I couldn't have done that at home. Um, though I mean, I don't know. I've always wanted to be a filmmaker and I'd love to film in like my hometown. It's like a dream of mine, but I don't think that I could have learned to be, I don't know, the best possible filmmaker I could be in Massachusetts. It's like, it sounds so corny, but like where I belong, but even though I miss home, I still like, I think I love New York City enough for me to like get over the homesickness. Um, I don't know. I don't really consider any one place home. Uh, I think home is, you know, where you feel the most connected and where the people you love are. Um, and right now my, like, the people I love kind of are scattered around. There's some in Salt Lake City, there's some in Memphis. Um, there's some in Canada, that's where my mom's from. So, yeah, that's not really an easy question to answer. Home is a lot of places, but at the same time, like, not any one place. I don't know, I've made memories on the streets of New York and so I feel like that's what makes it home for me. No matter how much I love Pittsburgh, it's not somewhere where I wanna live for the rest of my life. Um, I've always lived there, I was born there. I've always lived in the same three different neighborhoods in Pittsburgh. Um, and like my whole family is there. Um, and I don't wanna no matter like how much I'll miss them and how much I'll miss Pittsburgh because I'll always love that city but I, I don't want to be stuck there forever because I feel like I still haven't experienced so much so I felt like I had to leave even if I actually didn't want to.